Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be showing you guys the best dribble moves in NBA 2K22 next gen, man. Before we get into this banger, be sure to leave a like, comment, sub, all that good stuff, man. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm close to 60 subscribers. I've been one away for like God knows how long. And uh, yeah, let's get into this absolute banger. So you guys can see I'm out here, level 32, walking around with the tiger. We're going to be showing you guys the dribble moves after the gameplay this time around. I showed you guys the dribble moves last time before the gameplay and the jumper that I had about a month ago that video if you haven't seen it go ahead and check it out it is still the best jumper in the game i did switch it up a little bit so let me know if you guys want to see that but uh yeah man you guys can just walk around like an absolute dumbass but uh i'm, I'm vibing with it low key but uh yeah we level 32 out here uh i definitely have to grind a little more as you guys can see i'm wearing the sour patch kids jersey man we ended up playing that event i didn't get to stream it i feel bad about it but i did get gameplay from it so i'll be sure to go ahead and post those videos throughout the week hopefully i can post more than three times in a week because uh, that's like the max i can do sometimes man i am lazy as hell honestly and i really want to do this as like a full-time thing how the fuck am i going to do it when i can't even post consistently i'm getting off topic look at that viper bro this man is really flexing out here he's just sitting here for no reason he probably has like a 30 win hype man chatio 27 but yeah like i was saying i'm gonna show you guys the best dribble moves in nba 2k22 next gen they of course also work for current gen so uh don't worry for all you current gen heads that don't got the ps5 you guys are still chilling man um and also for those of you who do have the ps5 and you play current gen what are you doing man current gen is not the wave y'all gotta get on the next gen uh bandwagon the only thing i prefer about current gen over next gen is the fact that your guys's events are all in one place i hate the event center i think it's one of the dumbest things because honestly the event center is super glitchy you can the matchmaking is awful like honestly the 1v1 market and those 3v3 games with randoms that matchmaking is way better than the matchmaking in the event center i think the event center should just be gone with because honestly i'm not vibing with it but uh yeah before we get into this we're gonna go and show you guys some gameplay i've been using the same drum moves for a little while now since the beginning of the season um i do change them up every few weeks um but it's nothing crazy i change up like one or two things because there's a lot of drum moves in this game that honestly you can't get rid of unless they add the curry slide and even then the damian lillard oh, i'm spoiling a little bit but even then that one dribble move is always going to be there and then on top of that, the crossover, the behind the back, and the spin move. It's very hard to want to replace those because there aren't many good ones in the game. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. All right, man, jumping straight into the gameplay. Oh my God, y'all saw that block? So me and my boy Andrew, basically, if we're not playing threes, recently we've been playing a ton of threes, as I get a big splash right there. Recently, we've been playing twos mainly. You guys can see the easy, hezzy dribble move. That is that standstill dribble that I do love to do. That's mainly 2K20 action right there. But I am also a combo dribbler. I like to do combos. A lot of this first gameplay is going to just me be sparking it up because, uh, yeah, I mean, recently the comp has not been there, man, especially on the twos courts. Whenever we play twos courts, it's very easy to just get wide open. See my boy, my boy right there, Drew, for the three. So, uh, yeah, we've been rocking with twos for a while. Um, definitely something that's easy. Look at me getting the ankle breaker. Spin back. Oh, my God. That is what I'm talking about, baby. That is just a mini combo right there. That move is beautiful. I do do that move a lot. Um, but listen, bro, there's not a lot to do in this game in terms of the dribble moves. Unless you're comboing up, doing those hezzies and size ups, it's hard to get open besides those moves. You guys can see me trying to dot my boy in the corner. Big green, 23 to 2. Yeah, so that's kind of what the majority of these games are going to be looking like. Uh, not a lot of comp recently, but uh, yeah, a lot of this gameplay is from the beginning of Season 5. Easy dunk right there. Oh my god, my boy's getting up. But yes, sir, man, big green in the corner. Like I said, this is supposed to be a dribble moves video, but I am showing you guys the jumper as well. Because uh, yeah, I've been rocking the jumper since I showed you guys the video, I think a month ago. And uh, yeah, I haven't really had the need to switch it ever since. And also, I am in the current works of a new build. So that build will be, showing, be showcased soon because I already have gameplay in park in rec i've been playing a lot more rec recently with my friends um and my little brother who's finally gotten 2k so if y'all want to see videos of my little brother shout out noah y'all remember him probably from 2k20 he is absolute trash at this game but he is bone funny so i think it would be hilarious to get some gameplays and some commentaries with him talking in the background you guys see me getting dotted by my boy mo right there big green but uh, yeah, man, a lot of these gameplays, as you guys can see, a lot of standstill dribbling. That behind the back move is killer. I get him on the behind the back. I pass it right there. Luckily, they double team him. I'm wide open and I make the big white, baby. Yes, sir. The bad setup is also a big crucial part as to why you can even score in this game. You guys know how it is, man. You guys need that sniper on Hall of Fame. Easy speed boost out of nowhere. Big green right there, man. That is the quick shifty 
the quicker shifty dribble style look at me another spin back right there behind the back get him the jump easy dunk in the paint yes sir man i get the steal play and passing lane right there this is a very close game i do need to clutch up here man it's me it's do or die right here man we got to make sure we hit this three ball then again it doesn't even have to be a three ball but you guys know me i love to attack big green for the game baby yes sir i am just a three-point heavy player i always i always hunt for the threes it's just how, the way i play man i don't know what else you want me to do this was just a little troll clip i did three behind the backs nothing more and i just got a wide open dunk i thought it was pretty funny wide open on the three-point line big green right there man you guys can see a lot of this is going to be quick gameplay lob from half bang yes sir man but that new build that i'm working on he is a much taller player and he has basically the same stats as i catch a lob right there as this guard but he is six foot seven man he is six seven guys i'm telling you right now it's gonna be insane when i get that build because he has all the badges i have right now and more because he has a higher block that clip was hilarious my man just smoked a wide open layup they really made him smoke a layup that's happened to me twice look at me easy step back right there big greens man that size up the skate package by the way stay tuned for when you guys see it that is easily the best one in the game right sticking on him right there that nasty hezzy move but you guys can see man i love doing those quick dribble styles where you kind of step it back and then whip forward those moves are amazing all the speed boosting moves in this game are great look at me spinning back behind the back another one spin back through the legs right back right stick green baby oh my god i'm telling you man i'm getting really good with that right stick though no cap but you guys can see easy step back again wide open green every single time bro that move is killer i'm telling you guys that move and one other move as i dex my guy right there get wide open in the corner big white you know the vibes but yes sir man that spin back right there is easily one of my favorite moves in the game you guys see i'm using angle breaking take something that uh never works 2k fix your game please for once in your lives just do something right because every time i use that freaking behind the back bullshit not behind the back i'm tripping out every time i use that goddamn ankle breaking takeover nothing ever happens you guys see me right there dex in the man easy greens eight zero we're playing stage something i never do because honestly nobody plays stage in this game stage is a very dead this man went afk kind of gave up big white i don't know if he was lagging or not but i don't care i'm gonna show the jumper because it's oiled i'm gonna tell you guys right now easy step back again easily my favorite move in the game and probably the move i use the most which is why sometimes i do try to switch it up because honestly that move i do use pretty excessively i'm not gonna cap but uh, you guys can see right here we out here getting the ball right now quick step back those moves are my favorite moves besides the step back honestly those little fake hesitation moves i don't even know what they call them this year but uh yeah easy behind the back and an easy dunk right there it's 18-0 on stage man the kids who run stage look at that right there that hezzy move is beautiful easy win on stage right there there was a few more wins we took but they were boring so i'm not going to show them you guys see me step in the bag big green right here it's nine to six right now gonna make sure we clutch up on this game this is all early gameplay this is some from the end of season four and the beginning of season five as we get the bounce lob to go man me and my boy finally found out how to do it and we were rocking with it for like two straight weeks big green right there after i get the steal 14 to 6 you guys can see we were clutching it up my boy's gonna hit me with a bounce lob hey big boy shit only baby you guys see i got takeover i don't know why i have slashing take on i guess i was gonna try it but i decided to just give up on that but you guys see i'm wide open i try it again hey big boy bounce lob and you guys see wide open to end the game right there big green uh yeah a lot of these gameplays like i said are very quick from the beginning of the season that i wanted to get out as soon as possible and i figured i'll throw my dribble moves at the end of this video because i've been meaning to show you them for a while anyway i also want to make a tiktok soon showing them and a jump shot video because the jump shot video i did not post on tiktok big dime to my guy right there drew easy green my man's jumper did change as well by the way stay tuned for that i'm going to show you guys that jumper as well because i gave him both his jumpers and they were both wet man he just started whiting a lot of the other ones so i don't know if they nerfed it or if they tried to patch it but he just wasn't hitting it anymore easy decks off the big slam right there yes sir five zero we're gonna go for the bounce lob again you guys know the vibes yes sir man a lot of this video at least did this half portion right here a lot of bounce lobs were done you guys see i get wide open for the big green yes sir man that shooting animation was cool to me I don't know why it's a big L. Do not rock that. That shit is ass. I also have been playing 1v1 market games, um, the matchmaking ones on this game, as I get wide open in the corner and spark a white. Absolutely not. Big brick. My guy pump fakes five times and gets a wide open layup. <laughs> yeah, paint defense in this game is still broken. It always will be. Honestly, you're going to have to accept that. You see me guy right there. He flops. He just gave up on the play. Big green. 20 to 0 right here. Yeah, man. Like I said, we were winning a ton of games when we first started the season. 
um yeah we were both in the purple for our winning thing i forget what it's called like that goat level shit we always fluctuate between purple and gold and my guy ends it with a big slam that is what like a two game winning streak right there um you guys can see right here hitting level 13 so like i said this is the beginning of the season probably like a week in i just had all this gameplay and a lot of this is also from the stream that i did i think this next portion of the of the gameplay is from when i started streaming so uh yeah this is going to be some cool gameplay as well I'm definitely trying to make sure that I get as much gameplay out as possible before the end of the season because for season 4 I was supposed to post, look at the bounce live, yes sir man, for season 4 I was supposed to post a montage of me hitting from 1 to 40 and I just didn't do it because I'm a dick, but I promise y'all I'm going to try to just post more consistently as I'm wide open for 3 right there, big white man, but yes sir, the jumper has stayed consistent throughout, I did switch up my jumper one time this season and it is a buttered up jumper, it is the jumper I gave my boy Andrew, um, shout out to him for using it still, he's rocking with it, he, he loves loves it um but uh yeah i'm definitely gonna go ahead and showcase that as well in another jump shot video i'm gonna give you guys two alternative jumpers to rock with probably three because i also put another one of my boys on my guy tries to go for a bounce lob right there absolutely not men tried to give it to me in traffic that is not happening but yes sir man this guy right here was the cause of all our problems we're actually not going to showcase the rest of these games because it was super boring we lost one we won one but uh yeah we're going to go ahead and just get rid of the rest of this gameplay right here after a certain portion because this is all just defense uh yeah we ended up clamping them up this whole possession man making him get absolutely swatted in the paint that's what i wanted to show that block is insane but yeah i mean you guys can see like i said this is all early season stuff this kid is level five this kid is level nine and uh yeah that kid has a thirty-five thousand vc t-shirt on why god knows why because he was like an 85 overall but uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and showcase more of this gameplay right here like I said, a lot of this gameplay, the beginning of the season, the dribble moves are slightly different in here. I'm going to show you guys what I was rocking with at this point in time and what I'm rocking with now. It's basically the same. Not a lot has changed as I get a big green in the corner. But uh, at the same time, I'm definitely excited to show you guys more dribble moves than not. I want to show you guys all the alternatives because some people like to use screens. Some people like to ISO like me and some people like to take the whole 24 second shot clock, which is what I like to do as well. Sometimes stepping it back wide open for the midi and I smoke it. Why? Because 2K is trash, brother. And then he hits this. 20% cover green in my face. I was super triggered when that happened. I remember that play like it was yesterday. I was absolutely livid about that one. But you know how 2K is. I end up coming right back, getting the steal. Hit my boy. He pump fakes. Easy dunk in the paint right there. Yeah, I wasn't messing around after that play, man. I was trying to end this game OD fast because I was tight. This game really can grind your fucking gears, man. It's not as bad as 21. Stepping it back. Big corner three. Bang. Yes, sir, man. Those all should have been green, brother. I don't know what's going on. Hit my boy in the back door right there for the easy lob. Yes, sir, man. I love Andrew C's build, but I do wish he would have changed it a little bit, made it, made it a little bigger because, honestly, recently he's been getting horsed out here, which is why my brother made a big boy build. Look at me. Easy has he moved right there going right back to the corner they never expect that move in the corner it's always throwing them off i have double take right here man stepping it back easy green bang yes sir man i was not playing around as soon as this kid hit that 20 percent covered i said say less and i started just turning up this game i think i finished with like 14 uh yes sir man we're gonna go ahead and end it pretty fast right here easy dunk in traffic and that's gonna be the game that's gonna do it for this portion we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the dribble moves right about now man and eventually i'm gonna show you guys more gameplay as well let's go ahead and get back to the dribble moves all right man you guys can see we're back on the city right now this is current so uh, yeah let's go ahead and show you guys these dribble moves man we go to animations and this is it right here man this is the creme de la motherfucking creme de la. yes sir man this is literally the dribble moves i've been rocking with for a long time now um I do switch it up, like I said, occasionally. So signature combo, Derek Rose. This is one that I just added about two or three days ago. What I usually rock with and the main one to go with is Trey Young. But you guys can see, man, I have like 12 right here. I've been literally, I've tried a lot of them. So it's not just me going, oh yeah, this is the one because I watched a YouTube video. Like now, nah, this is me trying all of these over the past, what, seven months that this game has been out and just showcasing them in different videos and trying to make sure that I pick the best ones for you guys. So definitely Derek Rose is the way to go. D-Wade wasn't that bad but i don't like how slow it is trey young is the best one in my opinion but derrick rose i switched it up i just like the way it looks nice and fast and yeah man i'm rocking with it kyrie irving signature size up another one that is also subject to change for some people and on my new build that is six foot seven you cannot get kyrie irving you cannot get derrick rose and you cannot get kemba walker because you have to be under six foot five and this build is only six three now for people who are six seven and up De'Aaron fox is the best one to use that's the one i'm using on my current six seven build that i'm going to be grinding to 99 
this is the best one honestly i love this one i might even switch it back now but i love kyrie irving's how shifty it is you guys were seeing in those gameplays a lot of those little hesitation moves i was doing that's from this one right here this is a newer one i think this came out in season four but it's amazing uh derrick rose is obviously the best one for speed boosting if you guys love that speed boosting cheese which i have more gameplay of as well that i'll be showcasing throughout this week and next week and just until the rest of the season signature size up escape package this is the damian lillard one this is easily the best one in the game um i use trey young when the season first started damian lillard came out in like season three the best one man it gives you that big step back that i do all the time it gives you the best fake out moves i don't know what else to call them honestly but those moves are amazing i do them all the time and uh yeah man definitely the best one in the game Allen iverson's is horrible do not use this one and kobe's was good for like a brief moment but honestly trey young or damian lillard is the way to go for speed boosting and the behind the back move trey young has the nicer one but for the step back and the hesitation moves damian lillard is the way to go going over to the crossovers man there's only three crossovers that are really usable this year one of them is Giannis, which is the normal three from 2k19 and 18 and the classic 2ks steph curry is like the pro 5 my personal favorite one i don't know why i just like it the best and then lebron has the pro 2 i just think the crossover is too wide and every single time i see that i just think lebron has never done that before in his entire life but uh yeah i'm rocking with a 2k you go ahead and do you uh definitely these three are the go-to's whichever one you guys want like i said a lot of these dribble moves are honestly preference there's a few that are def just standalone the best ones but then again there's always one or two that you can always choose for as an alternative and for me these three are the bread and butter for the moving cross i go with curry Behind the back, Scottie Pippen is the pro three behind the back from the other two Ks. That right there, easily the best behind the back this year. Moving spin, easily basic, the best one to go to. This is the spin back that's been around since 2K20. Moving hesitation, Luca, Harden, Durant, honestly, any of these are okay. The, the moving hesitation to me is not that important. I just like Luca's the best, in my opinion. Moving step back, Jimmy Butler's is great if you guys like OG dribbling. This is 2K18, 2K19 hesitation type shit right here. This is the best one. I'm tripping out right now. This is the best one because of that. That double step back man that's what i was using in the last videos that you guys were just seeing i used to use jimmy butler but then i switched to luca definitely the way to go there triple that style doesn't matter so those are the dribble moves right there man i'm telling you guys definitely the best dribble moves you can have on nba 2k22 next gen all right and that's going to do it for this video man i hope you guys did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like comment sub all that good stuff i appreciate everybody who watched up until the end man i'm gonna put a timestamp in the beginning of the video if you do want to switch over and just watch the dribble moves only that is fine, man. Go ahead and do you. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the gameplay and the video. I'll catch you on the next one, man. The next video should be more park, by the way. And I think I'm going to try to throw in a stream sometime this week. And uh, yeah, we're going to get to that level 40. So uh, I hope you guys all have a good day and take care. I got money. I got power. I smoke good weed every day. And that late. Sipping so much I might have to join AA. <laughs> JK. I don't need a hundred million, but I pray. I can keep what I have right now and be happy anyway.